HGA finally saves the day. Happy hobby once again, I'm David Donis. If you are a collector of sports cards and you're working with a limited budget, subscribe to this channel. That's what we talk about here. Today we're busting into this box from HGA Hybrid Grading Approach. These guys graded five slides for me. I sent them a while back, I wanna say February, and uh, they shut down for a little bit and then they finally started accepting uh, submissions again. And I got these uh, rolling finally, they're coming back to me about four months later. Um, I'm excited to get into these. HG, I've never sent cards to them before outside of I bought a slab that I wanted re-slabbed into a horizontal slab. And they did that within two weeks. And I had just sent them these uh, cards to get graded. So we're excited to see what this turns out to be. It's my first submission to HGA. I love the color slabs. I love the custom labels, all that stuff. I didn't do anything crazy custom. I did request a horizontal slab on one of these but I think the card was too thick. I didn't know it when I sent it, but since then I've learned that they only take a certain thickness, up to 45 points, I believe, for uh, for horizontal slabs. So that's my notice. Let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this box. Let's get into this blind reveal and see what we got. All right, so we're going to get into these right now. Uh, as you can see, first off, I want to show you this. Uh, that's a nice label, fragile, fragile, handle here, fragile, it's from Italy. Um, and yet, this is how it ended up coming. Like they used a cinder block to seal it, which is nice. And then they threw it off a nine story building. I appreciate it. I don't think this was an HGA thing, but as you can see, UPS sort assist, they had to cover up the barcode for some reason, so. I'm gonna put this one on the old UPS. That was nicely sealed, so I know it's not been tampered with. Let's see. Get in here. Now, I haven't opened one of these boxes, so I, I don't know what the best path to opening said box is. Let's see if it's, let's see if it's this route. All right. Okay, all right, so at least the dent right there was on that part, so I can live with that. I think it's pretty good. All right, so I don't want to see the, the, the fronts, because this is a blind reveal, for goodness sake. So, let's see if I can pull this stack out. Tell you what, they nicely packaged it, very nice. So this has, okay, this looks like the back right here. All right, so that's good. All right. So hopefully they're all facing the same way, which I don't know why it wouldn't be. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So we got Tom Brady. We're going to try to do these in some sort of order. Um, I got a Shaq, a Jeter. Ah, uh, see, there's my, that's the, the thick card I was hoping would go into the horizontal slab. See, this would have, would have been nice. That's all right, that's all right. Put that here. And uh, the shack. And all right, so which order do I want to do these in? I do think, I, I'm hoping I have nine plus on all of these. I'm hoping for two tens. I'm thinking the two oldest ones are going to be nines and i'm hoping for at least a couple tens of, i might just be fooling myself with that but uh all right so let's get into this this is a mike evans uh rookie card 2014 rookie card platinum and it's orange so let's see what i do here 9.0 and i got the color blast that matches the team colors now there's uh, this the reason I love this card so much was because it was orange. And he had the red shirt on, red jersey shirt, red shirt. All right, so this is the Platinum Orange Refractor. And they put the, uh, I do love the um, subgrades that they automatically put on there. 
Uh, it's pretty good. All right, 9.0 on that one. I guess we'll just do it in this order. Uh, maybe I'll go with Jeter next and see if Shaq. All right, so we got Jeter. This is a 1993 rookie card, upper deck rookie card. Oh, you know, I'm not doing my little special. Um, let's see, where's my little guy there? that's the time I need the piece of paper I don't have it so we're gonna use Frank again flip him over oh I covered the wrong side <laughs> well that was convenient okay so 8.0 that hurts my heart a little bit but uh I think I got a 9 on SGC with this that might have been 8 also now I think about it. but um, I have a, a handful of these cards and a handful of the tops cards, and I'm gonna send some into uh, PSA uh, eventually once they open up pre 1996. All right, so now I gotta remember this. Now, also again, I did the this time I did the neutral team color, um, so it's neutral as opposed to the color blast. And uh, I did the team colors, so that's the the gray and the what was it navy? Well, I don't know what color they have. Yeah, navy. All right, so I did the same type of neutral thing with the Shaq card, neutral with the team colors. So let's see here. Let's cover them up using my dog Frank, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, look at those subs. So uh, eight on this one as well. Man, these slabs are very dense, very heavy. I like that. So not a great slab. And if I would do it again, I would ask for instead of the team match, I would ask for, because you can get team match neutral, which is just like black and white, or card match. I think I would probably do the card match and they would have done that in black, maybe accent it with, with this blue right here, this purple, whatever. But uh, now the Jeter, I, I think that came out nice with the, with the color match on that. So I, I would not have wanted the card match there. All right, so let's get to this next one. Mr. Tom Brady. Yeah, maybe I, yeah. All right, we'll do this one next. Man, it's just a, it's a really dense slab. It's very nice. Now that's Tom Brady. This is first year with the Bucks. Let me cover up the subs. First year of the Bucks, a select premier level 2020 so this is my first tom brady bucks card and uh let's see how we did 8.5 oh yeah it's just <laughs> that is painful too i was hoping for that it was going to be a little bit higher we got the corners 8.5s and the corners and the edges which i guess with the yeah you can see right there it's a little, little edge right there would not have thought the corners were bad though. All right, so we've got the last one, final one coming up here. So we got that. Now this is the the okay. So they've already they show the autograph grade on the back, which that got the ten. So that's good to see. Now thick cards. This is my first thick card sent in for uh, grading. So we'll see. Let's see. I'm gonna cover all of it because. They show the sub, so. Oh, let me show you the uh, the Tom Brady one. Again, I did the team color mat, the team color splash, they call it that, in the in the label. I do love, I love the color, the the variety in the label. I like that a lot. So put, let's put these two guys together. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I'm real happy with that Mike Evans 9, shoot. <laughs> Okay, so here's Joey Votto. This is a reverence um, card, it's called. And uh, number seven of 10, I pulled this in New York, went to Montecito Comics in Manhattan, and I was with my wife, and uh, I got a blaster from them. I think it was a blaster this was in, and pulled this card, and I love it. It's beautiful, it's great. It is a great signature, so I like, like that that got a 10. So let's see if there's a slow play I can do on this to see our grades. 9.5, 9.5. And let's see. Oh, let's just do it. That's a 9. So corners, 8.5, which on a thick card.
hard, I guess that's, uh, sometimes that's what you deal with because it is difficult. I do remember even then when we were coming back from that trip in New York, I didn't have a thick card holder for this. So yeah, so that happens. All right, so let's do it like this here. All right, so that's what I ended up with. I was hoping for a couple tens, but that'll teach me. I should have been hoping for a bunch of nines. Two nines, I do like uh, the Evans card, the bottom. These two, I was gonna be selling these guys anyways, but I was hoping to get them as nines because I already have an SGC. All right, well, um, I do plan on sending some cards in for uh, to HGA again and getting the a series of cards slabbed in the horizontal slabs. Like I've mentioned before, I'm gonna make a a display, a wood display for um, horizontal slabs because you don't see those. They're tough to, to put with regular slabs because they just don't look right in the display. Like it, it looks, it kind of looks like hillbilly teeth. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just kind of, that gap is just a little rough. But at any rate, keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm gonna be showing in, in the an upcoming video, I'm gonna be showing my, what cards I'm sending in to get slabbed like that. But uh, until then, uh, let me know if you've had some experience with HGA and what you think uh, with their grading and your cards and have a happy hobby.